Hey! Oh. Everybody listen to this motherfucker, Lever Carn. Shut the fuck up. Woo! I'm here to tell y'all about my adventures, y'all. Potheads. Woo! I've been to the promised land. <laughs> Washington State. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, I went there with my family though, so like my grandma was there. So I'm gonna just have to tell you. Have you ever tried to teach an old person how to use a smartphone? No. Yeah, yeah. my grandma's dead. If you had a damn, I wish my grandma was dead, because that would have been like an excuse for her to be this bad at working a smartphone. <laughs> but nah, she is she's fully fucking functional. <laughs> So we drove from Oklahoma to Washington, and the whole time it was my aunt's mission to teach my grandma how to use her smartphone. Mind you, my aunt is like by profession, she is a teacher for kindergarten special ed kids. After about 15 minutes with my grandma, she was fed up with that shit. She's like, I don't have the patience for this. Fucking read the manual. Mind you, we in the land of legal weed, so uh, the whole time I think this shit is fucking hilarious. Cause I'm high. That shit. <laughs> y'all, did y'all know you could get a quarter for $45 in Washington? Woo! If you don't think that's a big deal, you sell weed and I wanna meet you after this set. <laughs> So, back to my grandma. <laughs> this lady is cheap as fuck, y'all. Hold on. Yeah, do this. I'm sorry I said it so low. <laughs> Damn. Gonna follow leprechaun. That's what I'm talking about, Metroid White. That's what I'm talking about, Black Lives Matter. <laughs> Alright, so back to my grandma. <laughs> Y'all, this lady is the cheapest person I ever met. Like, she is the only person I know who will drive 25 miles out the way just to go to a casino to get some free soda. <laughs> For real. Like, I understand you save money doing shit like that, but I really think she was out of line when she filled up milk cartons and brought them to Thanksgiving. Y'all grandma did that shit too? <laughs> <laughs> shit out of line. <sighs> so. You have to explain it a little bit. Explain it a little bit, okay. Milk cartons. All right, milk cartons. You empty out the fucking milk and put whatever else you want in it when you're done, like recycling, Very good. for McKinsey. Very good. <laughs> All right, um, onward. So I had a substitute teacher back in the day, y'all, and she was cheaper than me. Like, this bitch had the nerve to never buy a purse. Like, everything she had was in her titties. <laughs> I swear to God, like, you need an extra pencil, bookmark, red pen, anything. Like, this bitch had a fucking book in her titties. Like, she didn't, for real, y'all, she didn't even need no fucking bookmark. She was just like, left it in there. <laughs> She's so out of line. <laughs> Y'all, so I'm gonna get personal. I'm allergic to latex. Oh shit. Yeah, every time I tell my friends that, they're like, oh no, condoms. Fuck that, like that's not my number one worry. Think about a fucking surprise birthday party with balloons. <laughs> Do you know how dangerous that is to somebody like me? That's my number one fear. <laughs> hey, but don't judge me, y'all. Like, I had a hard life growing up. Like, y'all really don't know how hard it is growing up in a black family. Especially when you're allergic to chicken. Oh. That shit is a struggle. Let me tell you right now. Cause your family ain't about to stop eating chicken. <laughs> That's a you problem. <laughs> that reminds me of these Speed the Children commercials. 
Like, how come every child in the Feed the Children commercials look like they made that kid wait to eat until after they film the scene? You know what I mean? Like, the kid just be looking so fucking hungry and sad. I just know, like, the light crew and the cameraman probably back there eating the Snickers and shit. The kid just like... <laughs> I'll get my little rice after the set. It's okay. just a thought. <laughs> Transgender people. Do we got any in here? Fucking good. <laughs> Cause I'm sick of it. Like, <laughs> I mean, I don't care if you want to be transgender. That's your fucking choice. But you want to be a minority and you about to be treated like one. Like, you mad they don't want you in the bathroom? They did that to black people years ago. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> Y'all better just boss up and handle that problem. Y'all better start sit-ins and shit. That's how you get that done. Handle the bathroom problem. <laughs> so, I started something new, y'all. Every time somebody owes me money, I just write their name on my mirror in a like, dry erase marker. That way, when I'm look, like, looking to make a change, I'm looking at that man in the mirror. <laughs> that shit was corny. <laughs> that shit was corny as fuck. <laughs> but it's okay, y'all, that shit. It's not my fault. I, I say fuck that shit from time to time. But, like, it's not my fault because I'm a 90s baby. And everybody who is around knows everybody says 90s babies weren't raised right. But everybody who says that helped raise us, though. For real, like, look at all this shit we was exposed to growing up. Like, how the fuck they think we was about to turn out? Goldilocks and the Three Bears. That's breaking and entering and petty larceny. Cinderella? That sounds like a child welfare situation if I ever seen one. I don't know. Little boy who quiet wolf. Why is a little kid watching sheep every day anyway? That's against all type of child labor laws. <laughs> Princess and the Frog. Boring line bestiality. <laughs> yeah. Popeye the Sailor Man. This fool walked around with a cut off shirt, tattoos, a pipe in his mouth, and no teeth. This is Oklahoma, y'all. I, <laughs> I think we all know that's a mess, okay? Snow White was a hoe. <laughs> For real, like what girl you know is gonna go out of town and just live with seven dudes rent free? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Robin Hood. <laughs> Communist. <laughs> steal, <laughs> steal from the rich and give to the poor. Y'all think that's gonna work out for anybody in this room? <laughs> Look what happened to O.J. Simpson. This nigga stole his own shit. Look where he at. Oh, <laughs> uh, for Puro. 